purpose of this test is to mimic my workflow within DaVinci Resolve, which is shooting on the red Komodo 6K and the DSMC2 8K. I've set the timeline to UHD at 2397, and I've set the red RAW settings to premium resolution, full resolution, and 16-bit depth. I set up timelines with the various resolutions and frame rates that I would typically utilize within a project, including 6K24, 6K40, 8K24, 8K30, 8K60, and even an 8K120. I play each timeline and then scrub back and forth so you can see the performance of the new 16-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and 64 gigabytes of memory. The final test was placing two 8K clips on the same timeline doing a picture in a picture. This is the only place that the M1 Max chip struggled. I don't know if it's because of the software itself or if it's a hardware issue. Uh, I was able to play this same clip on the desktop Mac Pro without issue. And then finally I render out each timeline, including one timeline that incorporates all clips. I render them out to ProRes 422HQ, H.264, and H.265. And then I compare that to the same renderings on my Mac Pro with 16 cores, 32 threads, 96 gigs of memory. You can see the picture-in-picture picture stuttering. It leads me to believe that this is a software issue because if you notice, it still reads that it's playing at 2397 even though it's stuttering on the screen. So let's hope that DaVinci can fix this.